what I did is got a hold of perfectly good Triceratops teeth from museum collections, American Museum in particular in New York, and we cut these teeth open and made microscope slides. And we were really surprised at what we found. There's five different tissues here. It's a remarkably complex tooth. It rivals modern mammal teeth, such as horse teeth, in sophistication. The material properties of these 70 million year old teeth are still preserved. You essentially could take these teeth and put it in an animal today, and they would self wear back to their functional morphology and, and, and function today. Imagine Triceratops, one of the most famous dinosaurs, the three-horned face, a nine-meter-long herbivore with a slicing dentition. These animals are, are cropping just bulky plant matter, and their teeth are allowing them to slice right through it very efficiently. And the secret to their slicing is that they had a fuller-like structure, in other words, a bold-out part of their tooth. It's kind of like... Uh, what's called the blood groove on a knife. What it does here is it makes it so that the slicing face has less area in contact with the plant matter. So these animals somehow, as they chewed, the plant matter would go across this scissor-like structure, but then when it would hit this bold out area or this fuller, there would be no contact with the plant at that point, and so it would greatly reduce the amount of friction. So this made these animals have very efficient feeding and obviously had a lot to do with the, you know, the ecological success of these animals. Our theory is, is that this ability to chew allowed them to feed upon plants that other dinosaurs or other animals uh, couldn't access, and it, it allowed them to you know, process these very tough plants and different types of plants and uh, basically allowed them to outcompete uh, other dinosaurs.